When there are this many Easter eggs, you need at least two baskets to carry them all. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for another Top 10 Things You Missed in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Sassy housewives want to meet you! They do! Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at more hidden details and references that likely eluded you in this animated sequel. If there are any Easter eggs you think we missed, be sure to check out our original video. Do people assume all your problems got solved because a big strong man showed up? Yes! What is up with that? She, she is, is a princess! princess. <laughs> Number 10. License Plate An alligator in the sewer is one thing, but Slaughter Race is such a hardcore game that it has sharks popping out of manholes. Nice kitty! <laughs> In addition to cats and dogs, this shark also swallowed a license plate with the number 0070981. Dogs and cats, they sure taste great! With a side of license plate! The plate is an exact replica of the one Matt Hooper finds in the tiger shark from Jaws. He didn't need a car, did he? When Steven Spielberg made this iconic thriller, it's believed that he worked in a James Bond reference through the plate. Not only does it feature Bond's code number of 007, but the plate is from Louisiana where 1973's Live and Let Die primarily takes place. So basically, it's an in-joke within an in-joke. A Russian doll of Easter eggs, if you will. Number 9. Credits Icons You'll want to stay until the very end of Ralph Breaks the Internet, and not just for the quote-unquote Frozen 2 preview. And now, an exclusive sneak peek of Frozen 2. Click here. Even as the credits roll, the filmmakers decorate the screen with numerous icons, many of which are parodies of existing apps. It's safe to assume that School of Wizard Folks is a spoof of Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery. We also wouldn't be surprised if WarDuringVariousAges.com is a reference to Clash of Clans and other mobile strategy games. Speaking of games, the Pancake Milkshake app also makes an appearance, along with several apps modeled after Disney princess silhouettes. One icon in particular kind of looks like the problem troll face if you crossed it with Mickey Mouse. Number 8. Airbud Pavilion Needless to say, Ralph Breaks the Internet is full of movie references that can resonate with audiences of all ages. This in-joke, however, is almost exclusively tailored for millennials. Pursuing Vanellope through the Oh My Disney site, Stormtroopers jump to the conclusion that she's hiding out in the Airbud Pavilion. Any sign of her? No. Maybe she went down to the Airbud Pavilion. Come on, let's check it out. Airbud is, of course, a definitive 90s kids movie, centering on a golden retriever that's permitted to play in a middle school basketball game. It happens. Ain't no rules that the dog can't play basketball. The sports comedy would inspire four sequels, one of which was released in theaters, as well as the Air Buddies and Santa Paws spin-offs. Now the franchise is officially attached to an Oscar-nominated animated feature. Buddy sure has come a long way. Number 7. Bob Ross and Imagine Dragons Taking a page from Deadpool, Ralph manages to break the internet by impersonating Bob Ross on BuzzTube. Hey, I'm gonna give this little cloud a little friend. Warm of a tree. Everybody needs a friend. Among Ralph's legion of followers is the pop rock band Imagine Dragons, who were apparently in the middle of a brainstorming session when they became distracted by one of his viral videos. The whiteboard in their conference room features several potential band names, such as Jason and the Hands, Future Shock, and British Pork. Members Dan Reynolds, Wayne Sermon, Ben McKee, and Daniel Platzman not only voiced themselves in the film, but also wrote the song Zero, which is played over the end credits. Number 6. Miranda Sings is a fan of Paper Man as mentioned in our previous video, the film includes a cameo from YouTube personality Miranda Sings, also known as Colleen Ballinger, who loses her internet connection thanks to Ralph. What the heck? The internet? You can tell she's a Disney fan based on her office decor, which features a photo of Meg from Paper Man on her bookcase. Played in front of the original Wreck-It Ralph, this black and white love story went on to win the Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film. It's fitting that Ballinger would have a photo of Meg, seeing how they both have a thing for red lipstick. Number 5. Steamboat Willie In a film packed to the brim with blatant Disney references, it's easy to overlook some of the subtler nods to the Mouse House. 
As Mr. Litwack prepares to unplug Sugar Rush, Surge Protector, voiced by co-director Phil Johnston, makes his way through Game Central Station. Whistling while he works, Surge Protector has a catchy tune stuck in his head that you might recognize. It's the melody from Steamboat Willie, the first synchronized sound Disney cartoon starring Mickey Mouse. In the midst of whistling this happy-go-lucky tune, the security guard is bombarded by candy-coated characters. Although Surge Protector says the internet is off-limits, we wouldn't be surprised if he's dropped by Oh My Disney given his taste in music. Maybe he's run into Clarabelle Cow. Number 4. Litwack's Office Anyone who's taken an Oh My Disney quiz probably has some Mouse House merch decorating their room. Kind, I guess? In this fan's case, you can spot a Bambi poster, a Mickey Mouse stuffy, and a castle snow globe. Mr. Litwack, meanwhile, is clearly a Star Wars fan, displaying plates featuring Yoda and Chewbacca in his office. When Litwack sets up the Wi-Fi in this scene, a document entitled Letter to Nana is visible on his desktop. The arcade owner mentioned in the original Wreck-It Ralph that he put his cuckoo nana out to pasture. But if you can't fix it, it might be time to put old Ralph and Felix out to pasture. Like my nana. Although it seemed like a throwaway line at first, we can't help but wonder if there's some sad backstory tied to this tiny detail. Number 3. eBay Ladies and gentlemen, the next item up, a black velvet painting of a sorrowful kitten. The film's interpretation of eBay is home to several famous voices. In addition to the Goldberg Sean Gambroni as the wide-eyed e-boy, you can also hear Brian Curlis, Ann Colgan, and Vivica Paulin, all of whom are professional auctioneers in real life. It's especially ironic to see Paulin in a John C. Riley movie, seeing how she's married to his frequent co-star Will Ferrell. Did we just become best friends? Yep! Ralph and Vanellope pass by numerous items for sale in this online auction house, including a sunshade hat. While the hat itself is fairly standard, it's the description that stands out, reading, quote, This hat was owned by neither a cow nor a boy. Good to know. Good, okay. Wait, you haven't found your hat yet, have you? No! Number 2. Oh My Disney Cameos We already covered some ground in our original video, but we caught even more cameos in the crowd, not to mention attractions like It's a Small World and a Monsters, Inc. door. Hand-drawn versions of Humphrey the Bear and the Ranger are seen in front of the Spiral Hill from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Judy Hopps from Zootopia and Rocket Raccoon from the MCU share a conversation. Rabbit is correct and clearly the smartest among you. Rabbit? With Captain America's shield and Thor's hammer in the background. In addition to Judy, Nick Wilde's popsicles are also up for grabs. Unless Hey Hey gets there first. Hey, can't you read? Cast members only! Even most of the Big Hero 6 cast seems to be there. Various avatars have modeled themselves after Disney characters as well, including Jack Skellington, Sally, Gamora Iron Man Darth Maul, Rey, Finn, and Elsa. Is that everyone? To infinity and beyond! Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. If she's here, it's crystal clear. Wake up, man. We've been baking at about 950 degrees now for six hours, so she should be ready. I drink in my hand, my snow up against the burning sand. <laughs> yeah, McNeely. You remember Wreck It Ralph? That bad guy from the old video game? <laughs> She went down this way. Come on, Roger that. Hey, Mom, why does your lame TV only have one channel? Number 1. Princess's Details This film's meticulous attention to detail is best exemplified in the Disney Princess dressing room, which is lined with royal crests that allude to the Beast's Enchanted Rose, Ursula's Seashell, and the Corona Sun, among others. Each Disney princess has at least one memento exhibited, from Tiana's beignets to Ariel's thingamabobs to Belle's books and a Lumiere-esque candelabra. Anna possesses a bouquet of sunflowers from Frozen Fever, as well as dolls that resemble Elsa and herself. Rapunzel has a paint set and a Pascal figurine. Best day ever! 
which would go great with the best outfit ever. Ew, best outfit cool. ever? <gasps> the catchphrase is just keep coming. A Cinderella, Moana, and Ariel all reference lyrics from familiar songs. Walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. <laughs> Speaking of music, the climax in which the princesses rescue Ralph is basically a hodgepodge of iconic Disney themes. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.